Okay, this is the arrays part of the practice test. And we want a declaration for an array of sprite structs called finder. So let's go to the top of our document here. And I want an array of sprite structs. So sprite struct is going to be the type. It's an array, so I'm going to put the brackets in. We're called finder. And then I want to, in initialize, I want to hold five elements. So let's go to initialize here. And uh, fighter equals a new array uh, of sprite struct. And I want five elements in it. Okay. Now on load content, I want to load the fighter picture into the texture for all five array elements. So. Um, I've got a little comment here, we'll put right in that. So there's five of them, so I'm use a little int. i equals zero, i is less than five, i plus plus. And what I want to do here, I'm going to do more than one thing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to read it in. So the name of the array is fighter. Uh, the position is position i. And the field I want to read it into is called texture. And I'm going to do content dot load, and it's going to be a texture 2D. Some quotation marks there. And the name of the file is just fiber. So, okay. And then it also tells us in the instructions um, we want the vector at position across the top screen at 100 pixel intervals. So, uh, y would be 0, but x would be 0, 100, 200, 300, 400. Well, our i values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, uh, fighter sub i dot position dot y is going to be 0. Now let's do screen dot top. That makes more sense. And fighter sub i dot position dot x is going to be equal to uh, i times 100. And the source is supposed to be null. Um, and I don't know if it will let me do this or not. I might have to actually specifically put null in the call to the method, to the draw method. I think I get an error when I do that. I do. I can't. I'm not allowed to do that. I can't set a rectangle to the null. Um, but I can set the color to white. And I want the sprite effect to be none. And uh, it says you must use the loop. Well, I did the loop. Okay. And then in the draw method, draw the pictures from the array using the data we computed in the load content method. We must use a loop. So um, let's go down here to draw. And uh, we need four loops because we're going to draw five of them. We'll start at zero. Stay in there until we get to five. Semicolon I plus plus. Okay. And then I need to draw. And uh, so sprite batch dot draw um, fighter sub i dot texture uh, fighter sub i I'm just following like up above here dot position so I could use null for the source uh, fighter sub i dot color comma uh, rotation of zero. Uh, vector 2.0, comma, scale is 1, uh, and the effect is um, fighter, that uh, sprite effect, comma, and the last thing is the layer depth, which would be 0, and that's right. We should get five fighters across the top of the screen when we do this, and here they are. And that takes us to the end of the practice test. So uh, the main things here on the practice test are um, knowing how to use a sprite sheet and how to you know, uh, cycle through uh, the frames in the sprite sheet uh, to make something move on the screen, um, using an array and using uh, methods and calling methods. We won't have any parameters passed to methods. It'll just be a simple method. Uh, with no parameters, so you just have to write it and then call it from the appropriate place. And if you know how to do all those things, then you'll be in pretty good shape for the text.